I've got a mini PC here, and this is not anything special. This is a 1240 CPU in this, and this is a Nook. I forget what the actual model of this is. Nook 12 WSH. And like I said, it's a 1240 CPU in this. Nothing special. But what I want to do is actually put this one in the garage. I used to have a case. Matter of fact, it's just down here on the ground. I got some screws on it, so I'm not going to pick it up. But I had that wooden case that I am kind of retiring because, uh, yeah, a mouse got in it and I'm not happy about that. It didn't cause any problems, but then I swapped some PC parts with my stepsons. So anyway, I digress a little bit on that. But my idea is to put this in the garage. And so I wanted to start this up. I haven't started it up in a while. Well, actually I did. I did start it up a few weeks ago, but it's fairly up to date, but I wanna see if there's any BIOSes for this. And also I wanted to see if I can hook up, there's really no easy way to hook up a speaker to this. This'll do Bluetooth, but I'm kind of wondering if my my real low quality speaker system will hook up to this and still amplify some sound. I haven't tested that. I kind of want to test it. So why don't you join me on that journey? Okay, so we got the power plugged in. We got this. I just need my HDMI cable. And... Also, I need to plug in, this is actually pretty good. It has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet cord on it. So we are going to get it also plugged in just so I can get on the web. All right, let's get this thing powered up here. I'm sure it's gonna go through some updates right now. Let's go ahead and check the updates it looks like on 97 so a little over two months ago two and a half months ago it was checked a little bit longer than i thought but while that's doing that we're going to go down here and click on run i always do the wrong keyboard whatever keyboard's in front of me that's normally the one i click on so let's do run my mouse would work properly here let's go ms Info 32, click enter, and we can see 12th gen. Okay, so our BIOS is this long thing of 821. So 821 of 23 was the last time uh, any kind of BIOS came out. So let's go ahead and try to search for it and see if we can find anything. Okay, so something that I just found out is on the back of here, it says Nook 12 W. S H H as in Hector. But if we come over here and we open up, we open up the Intel assistant software. Uh, not that, that's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted either. <laughs> what I do, shut it down. Ah, right here. Okay, so if, I open up this Intel Assistant software, as we can see. Look what it says right here for the model. Nook 12 WSB, not an H. So B is in boy, I5. So if I copy that, paste it in here, now all of a sudden, now I get my, my Nook. Um, now this is under Asus because Asus has permission to support the Nook fam family. So anyway, um, and then we click on drivers and utility and that drivers and utility right here, it doesn't show a picture because I was on this and I was under the impression I might be downloading this, but it may be the same one because see this Nook firmware integration tool is 23.18 megabytes, it's version is that 1.2 or version 1.2? And if we come up here to the other one, this also says version 1.2 and the same size file, uh, 24517. And this is 24517. So I think it's the same exact one, but we can also look at the BIOS version 094. And if we... 
where is it again? If we come over here, our BIOS version, I see a 0090. So let's come over to here and see if we can find a 90. So there's 939290 right here. And see this date? Let's see. Uh, 216 of 24. That's interesting. 216 of 24 because this says. It's a little different. It's a little different version, but I think we do have the right one because that is what it's telling me as far as the info goes. That's very interesting. So I'm hoping we got the right one. I don't know why that would say B and that one says H. We're gonna go with it. Um, not much I can do about it. I don't know why the dates are so different because Clearly, this 9-0 is the wrong date, but maybe they refreshed it or something. I don't know. Maybe I have a, uh, a beta, like a 90 beta version there could have been. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab this one. And that's downloading right now. I'm actually surprised how slow this downloads. 18 minutes for a uh, 84 megabyte? What the heck is going on here? Well, either way, we're gonna let that download. All right, so that has downloaded. We looks like we've got the BIOS release notes, one click BIOS flash for Windows. That's interesting. A BIOS flash through utility. What's this? Ha! Let's try this, guys. And, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, we need to extract. I think we need to extract. Do we need to extract? Is that a zip folder? It's really hard. That's not a zip folder. Uh, for Windows. Uh, extract all. This application may depend on other compressed files. Extract all. I'm just going to extract them. Why not? And let's try this. Try that. Hey, if this locks it up, this locks it up, right? So it's reading the flash right now. I've never done this before, so it's kind of interesting. Um, okay, reading flash done, system secure flash enabled, the checksum done, loading, press any key to reset. Okay, we'll push Y. <laughs> it's gonna shut down on its own, apparently. So that's kind of interesting. All right, I don't know what the heck it's doing. And I've got 20 minutes left on this camera memory to complete this. Look at that. It's actually in the BIOS and it's flashing it right now. So hopefully the capture card is capturing that. And that's pretty cool. Of course, don't power down your system or push anything. Just kind of walk away. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. I have zero, zero experience with the Nooks and doing any kind of a BIOS flash. But we are about two or three BIOSes behind. So I wanted to get it done before it gets out in the garage. You know, it's kind of interesting as it says keyboard is locked. Do not turn off the power. Once the firmware update is complete, system will automatically reboot. Okay, now it says it's updating the EC firmware. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's updating it. Now the ME, that's the management engine. Let me know when it's done. All right, we're 5% away. What's gonna happen? Is it gonna reboot now or what? Ah, uh, flashing the new ME. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think this takes longer than a normal BIOS. Are we done? Are we finally done? Hey, look at that. We're going for our first reboot. 
You can't hear if it's rebooting. We just have to wait for a signal. But the power LED is off. Now it just came back on. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're coming back to life. Looks like we're gonna go straight into Windows, I hope. Yep, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to. All right, so let's quickly check the BIOS. I don't know if I'm gonna, I should be able to tell because we went from 90 and look at that, we're at 94 now. So it's a little different. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this. Hopefully it lasted till the end. That was a little crazy, but uh, I don't quite know how I'm going to piece all this together because that was really interesting and I had to stop recording on a couple of different things at different times. So I'm really going to be struggling with the editing process and I've got 11 minutes left of time recording on this and then it's going to stop recording. So let's wrap this thing up. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for any future videos that I do post. Give this thing a thumbs up. Tell your buddy to give a thumbs up and everybody else you know. So until next time, take care.